Hello and welcome to the Virtual Grim Room. My name is Jackie Host and today I'm bringing you a review video and what the review is of is, actually let me give you a bit of backstory behind the product, shall I? Um, this is something that I was looking at for a little while, I saw quite a lot of guys using it on Shave of the Day posts and on YouTube and I feel like I've always been way better at face lathering than bowl lathering and I wanted to get a bowl that would help me, you know, Move, move along a bit quicker. And I think this this guy is pretty damn good. Um, this is the Pereira Shave Bowl. I believe Pereira a company out of Portugal. And frankly, I think they've knocked it out of the park with this thing. Um, I'm a bit iffy when it comes to bowls, mainly due to the fact that I think the approach of lathering in a bowl requires quite a lot of, frankly, a bit of brute force. You know, you need to be able to whip air into the bowl, it's into the lather, actually, as opposed to on the face, you can really work it and you can build it. I'm much better at face lathering because of that. So I've been watching another YouTuber called uh, Don Younger or Wet the Face, who I would say is probably the best bowl lather I've seen. And he does, he approaches it in a certain way. And frankly, this review is going to be of this bowl using that method, and we'll see kind of how it goes. Um, the thing I like about this bowl, let's get into kind of the more makeup of the bowl. It's kind of a really strange material, because if you hear this, like that doesn't sound like complete plastic. I believe it's half plastic, half mineral, and because of that, it doesn't look like plastic and it doesn't feel like plastic particularly. The bottom has a very unique design that I've not seen in any other bowl. You, what you often see is kind of like these ribs going throughout the bowl. And because the ribs are throughout the bowl, that generally helps whip lather. This has more of like an indent design, and I actually think it really helps for lathering and putting the soap into the bowl. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna drop the camera down so you can see exactly what I'm doing. And yeah, I'll see you in a sec. Hey guys, okay, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna use this soap. And the reason I'm gonna use this soap is because this isn't, you know, some sort of $25 soap that is probably gonna perform well regardless. So what I like to do is I like to get a serving spoon like this. Now this is a quarter teaspoon. You don't need much more than that. I'll get the soap here and I will scoop it up on the side of the bowl, using the side of the bowl as leverage to get the soap you need. I'll then get the soap onto my index finger, as you can see, and I'll put it into the center of the bowl. Now, basically what I'm doing, as you can see, is I am spreading it into all of the indents of the bowl. So, the way I've approached bowl lathering before, and you'll see kind of the different approach here, really, is I have added water gradually, and frankly, I think if you're able to whip air into the bowl effectively, you don't need to do that. So let me get my uh, kind of bowl lathering brush. So for my bowl lathering brush, I like to use this. Reason being, it has a really nice diameter of knot. It also has quite a long handle, so you can reach into the bowl. I'll show you what I do now. So let me uh, kind of go over to the sink. So I'll move the camera. Here, here's the sink. I am going to wet the brush completely. Completely wet it here. So bear in mind that there's, a, there's still some, that there's lather at the bottom of the bowl here. So the brush is wet. And I'm going to turn the sink off and I'm going to move you guys back. Hopefully I can get the same positioning because that would be a pain. Put this here. Now, I am going to dry, or I'm going to kind of get rid of some of the water in this brush because there's a little bit too much. I've got rid of some now, but what I'm going to do is I'm just going to squeeze the remainder into the bowl like this. So now you see the water has been added ahead of time. And now all you do is really work it. And the thing I love about this bowl, more than any bowl I've ever used, is it has really high walls, so you can really work the lather in. So 
so that no lather is escaping. Because of the design, it's whipping air into the lather really well. And yeah, I think it's fantastic. Um, as you can see, like no lather is escaping whatsoever, and I've not found another bowl without that problem, and I think that's quite unique. So from here, you can add more water if you want, and frankly, this, the, the lather is at a stage where you could. So the way I would do that generally is just turn on the sink and kind of sprinkle water in. Because at this point, the lather is made enough to where I don't think you collapse the lather with the amount of water you give. Of course, if you're not excessive. Um, you know, don't put a pint of water in or anything. But uh, to be honest, I would say within, you know, like a minute or two, this lather is kind of where it needs to be. So let's really mix this up. Let's really mix it up. Okay. So I'm, I'm pretty happy with that lather. I'd be happy enough to shave with it. So let's get a good scoop. And you will see that is a very good lather. Very good lather. Okay. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to break and we're going to go back to the normal shot. I'll see you in a sec. So yeah, um, I'm really impressed really by this bowl. The bowl itself, I think is about $35, which to be honest, for a bowl that's kind of steep. Um, for this bowl, for this guy, I paid around, um, so this is a custom bowl that I bought off Etsy. It's a good bowl, but it looks like it has ridges, but these ridges really are not kind of pronounced enough. And because of that, I actually don't think they make much of a difference. The thing I like about this bowl is even if you're not a fan of the design, the general height of the walls of the bowl make it really easy to whip air. And because the ability to whip air is so easy, one, you don't get lather escaping, and two, the lather is just generally easier to make because of that. Would I recommend this bowl to people? I really would. Um, it looks good. It's unbreakable because of the material. The design is cool at the bottom. Um, another thing I didn't explain about the design in the video is, so let's, let's hypothetically say that this is clockwise and this is counterclockwise. If you mix counterclockwise, the design is more pronounced counterclockwise. So I actually think that makes a bit of a difference. The, the, the difficulty with that though is the fact that the handle is way more intuitive and easier to hold clockwise. So I'll show you some of the lather we've made again. Look at that lather. That's fantastic. Um, using quite a small amount of soap, a decent amount of water. So, you know, your lather is going to be hydrated. I've been using this like for a good week or so, and I've been consistently impressed with the results. So pick one up. If you're looking for a new shaving bowl, if you're not the one you're using, as I always say, is probably good enough. Um, apart from that, I hope you've enjoyed the video. If you're new around here, please consider subscribing. If you're not new around here and you've watched my videos before, uh, on Tuesday this week, I had a video uploaded by West Coast Shaving of me shaving with Declaration Grooming Taxes and the car of Christopher Bradley Razor. Check it out, give it some love. I think the way they invite me back is the fact that they get some good feedback on the video, so I'd really appreciate if you guys could go over and give it some support. Apart from that, it's your host, Jack, from the Virtual Groom Room. Have a good weekend, and it is Saturday today, so you've got quite a bit of it left this Saturday morning. Have a good weekend. Goodbye for now.